Welcome to week four. Tech Wish Super Bowl 2, Special Edition Full Season. Most of the New Orleans Saints and San Francisco 49ers play this week. Go ahead and auto skip through these games first. So the Falcons beat the Redskins, Cincinnati beats Houston. Cleveland gets beat by the Colts. Rams get beat by the Chiefs. Miami gets beat by Minnesota. New England beat somebody. Missed it. I wish I'd delay it so you see it. Okay, New England beat Detroit, so. Anyway, Saints and 49ers. Now the first season, 49ers won their division. Saints came in third place. They did not make the playoffs, but 49ers had a bye during round one of the playoffs. They got beat by the Packers in round two. I can't really see what the score was, but anyway, that's how they did that season. Last season, these two teams both made the playoffs because as we can see teams are in the same division and this is exactly how the rankings looked last season at the end of the season. The 49ers were in first, Saints were in second, Falcons were in third, Rams were in last. But last season the 49ers won the division, Saints got the wild card. The Saints beat the Redskins in round one, 35-14. to 14. 49ers beat the Vikings in round one, 3-0. But then the Saints got beat by the Packers in round two, and the 49ers got beat by the Cowboys in round two, so... This team's pretty much... kind of have the same situation going on. Although one was a division champion, one was a wild card team, but they both one in round one and got beat in round two. Only two teams in the division to make the playoffs. Now we get to see these two teams match up against each other. Computer controlled, by the way, both teams. The 49ers should win this game. They're obviously the better team, and they're at home. Yeah, so this game does not have the special fields. Blue, 48! Blue, 48! Cut, 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 cut! See, Techno Super Bowl 3 Final Edition, that's another feature they added is the 49ers and the Broncos have a baseball Blue, field. Blue, 48! Because they share a stadium like back then the 49ers. They share a stadium with the San Francisco Giants baseball team. Denver Broncos shared a stadium with the Colorado Rockies baseball team, so in the football game on Tecmo Super Bowl 3 Final Edition, you actually see part of the infield, the, like the brown part going right around the 50 yard line. When I do Tecmo Super Bowl 3 Final Edition, I try to schedule it so we'll get to see a 49ers game in San Francisco and Denver game in Denver. six for a month. I finally got my finally back to normal hours working 7.30 to 4. That gives me some more time to do some video games. Back 
after the after they lost Joe Montana, I don't know if he retired or what, but they got Steve Young. He's also a good quarterback, and they had Jerry Rice for a receiver. time instead of playing like the full season all the way through but, I mean I'm still gonna do the full season all the way through but I think I might have some games in between like I got a couple Sega Genesis games I can play I might go ahead and throw them in somewhere in the middle of the season Francisco in this game. Ooh. What? They don't even show the name who, who intercepts it. I wish they'd do that. Show who recovers the fumbles and who intercepts it. as bad as not showing who scores a touchdown. Looks like the Saints have the 49ers covered pretty good defensively, but they're still making every catch. Jacksonville Jaguars. The Cleveland Browns in this game is the old Cleveland Browns that moved to Baltimore and became the Ravens. For those of you who don't don't know that, after that, Cleveland Cleveland got a new team, expansion team. 
and they renamed them the Browns. Most of the Browns would get a logo on their helmet. That's the one thing that always annoyed me. It just makes them so boring not to have a logo. See two home games, two road games. Same thing with Minnesota. Now Detroit, we're not going to be able to because the one season I did not show the game. Focus on this game and and the next Tecmo game. So if you see the Packers and Bears playing in Chicago on this game, you'll see them playing in Green Bay next game. I'll do the same for Minnesota, Detroit, and Tampa Bay. I'll make sure to do them opposite.
halftime. San Francisco's up 10 to 3. And yeah, the Saints get more rushing yards than the 49ers. The 49ers have almost tripled the passing yards. Really not that many more yet total yards. So both teams looking pretty good. They're actually looking about even. Except for the score, 49ers are up by touchdown. But anyways, as for making the schedules, I know we might end up seeing a team play home like every time. We might see one team playing road every time, but it's kind of hard to you know, try to make them... I mean, it's just hard trying to schedule so we can see every team play one regular season game. I don't want to have any team play two se regular season games and there's another team that we see play zero. Besides the Packers, we have them play multiple games per season because they're the team I play as. Anyway, here we go into the second half. for the season. Techno Super Bowl 2 Special Edition have been getting a lot more views than the previous Techno Seasons. I think it's probably because this game is kind of rare. Well, I upload the game like... Night... Well, it was like two nights ago. Just before going to bed when I woke up the next day. I had seven views already. I guess it was after I got off work, so it wasn't right when, not right when I got up. Still seven views within 24 hours. It's like quite a bit, and there's a block. Two Sega Genesis games that I bought, never played yet. There's Miss Pac-Man, and there's the Sonic games. Now we already seen the original Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Genesis, but yeah, Genesis or Sonic 2. I'm not sure what other games are on the cartridge. I never owned Sega Genesis as a kid. I always I had the Atari 2600, then I had the Nintendo. Super Nintendo, and Nintendo 64, Sony PlayStation, PS2. I never owned a Sega system in my life. Now I got the Retron 3, which plays NES, Super NES, and Sega Genesis games.
Russian air seemed to be getting short. Russian air. Just enough for a first down, and they don't seem to have much of a running game. Of course, my team, the Packers, are the same way. I really don't do too many running plays because I don't really have any fast quarterback running backs. After this one, the next video is going to be the Green Bay Packers and the New England Patriots. Week 5. Saints really hit four damage for the area. Be something with the 49ers or the Saints came back and tied it up. I like to see a game going to overtime. I like to see at least one game every season going to overtime. Last season we seen two, at least two games going to overtime because I had two ties. If I remember correctly, I think my tie against the Bears was a pretty amazing end of the fourth quarter I think they I think they took the lead with a very short time on the clock and I tied it up or maybe it was the other way around. Maybe I took the lead and they tied it up. It all happened like within something like the last 30 seconds or so. I don't know, I have to go back and watch the video. easier way to find out my football Blue, games, 43. Blue, 43. like to look at old football games, you can go into my Facebook page, Jay's Retro Video Games, and I have photo albums in there. I got an album of each season that's got the matchup, so you can just click on the picture, it'll show what, like, Blue, the schedule, which two teams play each other, and you can click on the link to the video. Let's say you're a 49ers fan and you want to see all the 49er games, you can just go back to my photo albums and look through for the 49ers. Click on that picture and then click the link under it. Just kind of a thought. Also, you can check out my video, my regular video uploads album. And it's got like every game, video game I've uploaded. Atari games, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Red, 24, Red, 24. couple Sega Genesis games, a Sega Master System game, Sony PlayStation, PS2.
Oh, I had a feeling they were going to go for two. That's kind of stupid of them, because if they don't make it... Yep, see, now they're... Now they have no, really no chance of tying it up. Well, I guess... Let's score another touchdown, they have to go for a two-point conversion, but... I mean, it, you have this tough of a time scoring at all against the 49ers. Why would you bother go for, going for a two-point conversion? And it shows that it's hard to get anything by him. And there's like 10 seconds left on the clock and you need those two points. So you're like down by it. Two, and I can see. But I don't think it matters. I think the 49ers are going like, to. I think they're going to get another touchdown. Kick a field goal and still put it out of reach. And they just might have to go for a field goal. Daytime, so I've got a blue sky. There are night games too. I should have added that to the game. You know, I think they should have made a Nintendo 64 version of Techno Super Bowl. I think that would have been really cool. And this is 16 bit right here. Imagine a 64 bit game of Techno Super Bowl. Blue 48! Blue 48! See, they stopped making them after Techno Super Bowl 3 Final Edition. Now, I don't know exactly why they stopped making them. The only thing I could think of is right around that time, 93, 94, 95, the Electronic Arts started making sports games and made baseball, football, basketball, hockey, and they're really dominating in sports. Anyone who grew up in that era might remember here at EA Sports. It's like Electronic Arts, they're making all types of sports games and they're making very realistic. The football games are made with the Madden football games. And I'm thinking maybe Tecmo gave up because those games might have been a lot more popular. It's just my theory though. They really felt they couldn't compete. It's pretty sad that Tecmo stopped making these games because it was the only game that I thought was really good out of all Tecmo's games. And I didn't care for their Ninja Gaiden games or Ninja Gaiden, however it's pronounced. Solomon's Key was a disgrace. This was the only thing that I remember playing of Tecmo that was really successful. Samson scored 15 24. points in two seconds. Here's the final score. Overall rushing yards, Saints led 108 to 53. Passing yards. Niners led 192-95. Almost 100 yards passing over the Saints. Total 
yards, 245 to 203. First down, 12 teams at 10. 29ers led defensively, one sack, two interceptions. But the important thing is, points. 24 to 9, 49 ers won. And there's a look at individual statistics. Jim Everett of the Saints had 21% completion. Okay, let's skip through the rest of these games of week four. Pittsburgh beats Seattle. San Diego gets beat by the Raiders. Tampa Bay gets beat by the Packers. That was cool. Bears get beat by the Jets. Denver gets beat by Buffalo. And we'll go to the standings now. Buffalo still undefeated 4-0 the New England Patriots are 3-1. Keep an eye on the stats for the Patriots because we're going to be seeing them next season for next video against the Packers. And I'll be playing against the Patriots. Colts are 2-2. Two two. Jets 1-3. Central, we got the Cleveland Browns first. Pittsburgh just behind them, 500. Houston, Cincinnati. Fallon, Houston. Actually, great. Looked great the last two seasons. Almost went undefeated last season. They went 15 and 1. Seattle, Kansas City, and Denver all 3 and 1, so it's kind of a tough one going there. Raiders, 500, San Diego's not looked too good. That division is usually always unpredictable in technically the three final division. Sometimes it's Denver or San Diego that win it. Once in a great one, I see the Raiders win the division. This game, technically will do a special edition. I have no idea. Dallas, 3-0. Big surprise. Arizona, 2-1. Giants. Philadelphia and Washington all failing. So it looks like the Eagles, the Giants, the Cardinals, and the Cowboys all had their bye week. They only played three games, whereas the Washington's got four. Panthers are still undefeated. And so right behind them. Tampa Bay, Detroit, and Bears all failing. I think the Vikings always top two teams in the division. Season one, we've seen the Vikings win the division. And me as the Packers, I had the wild card. Last season, it was the opposite way. I won the division at the Vikings right behind me. And over here, we got the 49ers 3 1. We got the Falcons, Saints, Rams all 1 and 3. So, let's look at that. next week. Packers and Patriots. So, see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed that game. If you're a 49ers fan, if you're a Saints fan, well, I guess you probably didn't enjoy the game too much, but see you in the next game. Packers and Patriots.